Welcome to this presentation. In the last one, we completed the introduction to the T flip flop and also found out this table for it in which I am having T as my input and clock of course. When the clock is low and whatever be the value of T, we are going to have the memory because flip flop is not operational. And when clock is high and T is low, it means J is equal to zero and K is equal to zero. So definitely it is also a memory state and whatever be the previous value remains the same. So QN plus one is QN. So the first two combinations gives us the memory state and the last one when T is one and also the clock it means J is one and K is one. This is our toggling state and we are having the output as the complement of the previous state. So the previous state was QN and the complement of QN will be QN complement. So this was the truth table that we derived in the last presentation. Now in this presentation we will try to find out the characteristic table and the excitation table for the T flip flop and we will use it in our flip-flop conversions as well as the designing of the counter and if you are following my lectures then definitely you can do it by yourself because we have done the same thing for sr flip-flop for d flip-flop and for jk flip-flop but if you are new then let me explain you how to find out the characteristic table and the excitation table it's very simple the primary thing that you must have is a truth table for any flip-flop whose characteristic table and excitation table you want to derive then we are having our truth table then the next step will be the characteristic table because characteristic table can only be derived from the truth table so let's see what is a characteristic table in this there is a single output that is the next state qn plus one is my next state and it depends upon the present state as well as the input you already know whatever be the value of the next state it depends upon the input that you are giving to it and in what state it is in okay so qn and t are the two inputs and four possible combinations let's see for the first combination what will be the value of qn plus one from this truth table when t is a zero t is zero it means the memory and the memory is what whatever the present state you are having is going to be the next state so the present state is qn and its value is zero so qn plus one will also be zero a very simple thing and when t is one it means we are having the toggle state so whatever be the value of your present state it's going to be the complemented and reflected as the output your next state so qn plus one will be the complement of qn and the qn is zero so its complement is one and similarly when t is zero memory qn is one so qn plus one is also one and when t is one toggle the complement of your present state that is qn so complement of one is zero i hope you got this how to get our characteristic table now we can move to our excitation table and remember one thing the excitation table can be calculated only if you are having a characteristic table so if i say the truth table gives us characteristic table and the characteristic table gives us the excitation table it is not a wrong thing to say so let's try to find out our t from the characteristic table qn is zero qn plus one is also zero it means i am talking about this stage qn is zero qn plus one is zero in this case our t is zero so t is zero and when qn is zero and qn plus one is one it means this case then our t is one so we are having t is one and when qn is one and qn plus one is zero it means this last case our t is one so again t is one and when both are high then t is low so this is what we just found out from the characteristic table now the next thing that you have to do is to find out the expression for this characteristic table it means qn plus one and you can see that qn plus one is high only when there is odd one okay you can see there is a single one which is odd then qn plus one is high in this case also single one then qn plus one is high and when there is even one it is low so it is what it is what it is odd ones detector and when there is a odd ones detector it is simply a x or combination so we are having qn plus one as qn xor 
t so this is all for this presentation now you are having everything to move in the flip-flop conversions you now know everything about the different flip-flops and i will also provide the practice problems for this flip-flops as soon as possible so please do practice the problem so that you are having a better grip on this particular topic so see you in the next presentation